So now I'm going to show you how to create a hoverable drop down menu using HTML and CSS. So to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on File New and I'm going to say New File. I'm going to click on HTML. So you must know how to create an HTML document. If you don't know how, please watch my video on how to create an HTML document. All right, so now I'm going to say, I'm going to call it drop down, just like that. And inside of the body, so I just added a title called drop down uh, to the document. And to, for the body tag, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, create a div. So I'm going to create a div right here. And this div. I'll give it a, a class of, so I'm going to say div class, so I'm going to give it the class of drop down, so drop down, just like that, um, and I'm going to make some space, so everything will be here, alright, will be inside of this div. Now inside of, this, of that div, what we're going to do is we are going to use a button, so I'm going to say button. Now I'm going to give the class of so I'm going to say drop drop button just like that and I'm going to aim that button right there and I'm going to add a text here called drop down just like that all right so we have done that now below it I'm going to create another div so I'm going to say div class so class just like that and I'm going to say drop so drop down slash content so this is the content so drop down content just like that and I'm going to open some space here and uh, right here I'm going to add three links so let's see so I'm going to say uh, a href I'm going to put pound sign here so I'm not going to actually put a link there but I'm going to say link one just like that so here's link one and I'm going to paste it two, three, a couple of times, and I'm going to say two, three, and four, just like that. And we have our HTML ready, so now I'm going to save it on desktop. I'm going to call it drop, drop down HTML. So it's, so I'm going to view it on desktop now. And let's see how it looks like. As you notice, it's just a button, and uh, there are some links here, but we haven't done the CSS yet. So we will have to do some CSS. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to so I'm going all the way up inside of the head somewhere, and I'm going to open the style tag. So this way we can type in our CSS code inside of you know the HTML tag so right now what I can do is I'm going to target the drop button so I'm going to say dot drop button drop btn actually not button drop btn and I'm going to open two clear braces I'm going to I'm going to add background color. So background color colon and I'm going to I'm going to choose this blow just like that. And color I'll just make it white so just like that. And let's see, let's give it some padding. I'm going to say 14 pixels, just like that, and font size, so font size, let's see, 
15 pixels you can increase this and I'm going to say border none so I really don't want any borders so I'm going to say none now I'm going to save it and refresh my you know the document you'll notice that here's a button and uh, it has no borders so we have done that we have styled that button now we can, what we can do is we want to uh, you know just we need to style the drop down itself so let's go back to the code and right below it I'm going to target the drop down so dot drop down and I'm going to say display no not display yeah display actually so this the inline this the inline block and below it what I'm going to do is I'm going to say position so position I'm going to say relative alright just tell you that so we have done that that's the drop down now it's time to uh, drop uh, you know, just save it just save it and re uh, review it first as you notice um, nothing has changed there is there isn't much change here because we haven't added a lot of stuff here so so now it's time for you know I'm going to say drop down content so it's time to style the content so I'm going to say drop down slash content just like that open to include braces and I'm going to say display none because we, we don't want we don't want people to see it right away so we're going to say display none and position I'm going to say absolute just like that so I'm going to add the min minimum width so I'm going to say min width min width just like that I'm going to say 170 pixels 170 pixels just like that there is a colon missing right here yeah so I add I added that and I'm going to add background color so I'm going to say background slash color let's see so I'm going to say F1 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 maybe so oh, I forgot the pen sign at the very beginning <laughs> so let me just ch maybe choose this color yeah that's better so I have the background color there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the bo box shadow I'm going to say box shadow Kelvin so it's going to be zero pixels I'll just say that eight pixels 17 pixels so you can you can always edit this you know you can always change this and zero pixels just like that so zero pixels and I'm going to say RGBA open and I'm going to say zero comma zero comma zero comma zero point two just like that and I'm going to add a semicolon at the very end of it and I'm going to say Z index so I'm going to say one so Z index one just like that so now we have done that now let's save and refresh it so now let's do it as you notice uh, that it's disappeared now it disappeared now and it's not going to show now because we haven't still we haven't worked on the hover and stuff like that so now let's go back to the code and we still need to um, style so I add some more styles here so I'm going to say dot 
this time we're going to say drop down. So so drop down slash content. So we are going to and then we are going to uh, you know style the content and cool. So we are going to style the length. All right. So now I'm going to say color. So I'm going to say color. Let's say I'm going to say black. Just like that. So color black, and uh, I'm going to have a little pad in here. So I'm going to say um, 10, 10 pixels, and 14 pixels. So like that we can always adjust this later. And text decoration, text slash decoration. We're going to say none. All right. So I don't want any text decorations. And display, I'll just make it block. So we have done that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Now it's going to. Ha now it's time to. You know, I want to check what's going to happen if somebody hovers my. So, for example, nothing happens right now. Even you know, even though I refreshed it, I I move my mouse here, but nothing happens. So I want I want to you know whenever I move I move my mouse over this button, should it should show like a you know it should drop down. So we're gonna start that now. So now we are going to say dot dot drop down, just like that, and uh, say colon, and there is something called hover. So this means, um, you know, whenever somebody hovers over that, it should, um, you know do something so whenever my mouse goes over the button and I'm, I want to add this style to the same uh, drop down content also so drop down slash content play that and I'm going to open to clear braces so I'm going to simply change the display so I'm going to say display so display so display um, let's see let's pick a block so display block and uh, I guess that's the only thing that we need for that one and uh, below it what we are going to do is we are going to say dot drop down drop down just like that over and drop button so we want to add also we want to add a color to so we want to change the color whenever somebody whenever someone moves the mouse over that so I'm going to say background uh, color like that and I'm going to say let's see so there are a lot of colors that we can use maybe I'm going to choose burly wood so now I'm going to save it and now we should be good so now I'm going to refresh it so as you notice if I just move my mouse over it it changes the color of the button and it uh, it shows like this menu here and whenever I move my mouse out it just uh, disappeared so yeah we have created um, our uh, you know we have created our uh, menu now so this is our drop down menu actually so we have done that and whenever you just hover it um, that's these links appear and whenever you can click on all of those links so yep but uh, you know there is one thing that I want to change I don't want the you know the color become 
uh, brown right here I want it to stay I want it to stay um, a dark blue so I'm going to change that now so let me just go to let me just go here and say dark blue just like that so I made it just dark blue you know I'm going to save it and refresh it so now as you notice it's nicer so whenever you move my your mouse over it it shows that and uh, also we can change the ba uh, the background of these links so as I told you guys you know you, you always can fix this and uh, you know you can download this document in the link of the description in this video all right thank you everybody for watching my video and uh, I hope you learn how to create your drop down. Alright everyone, have a good one. I will see you guys in the upcoming tutorial.